Today I'm going to be sharing with you my fitness journey, my whole experience through it and the things that I learned. I'm not going to be sharing with you the kilos that I lost or the inches that I lost because I don't think that that's a healthy mindset towards healthy living or towards a fitness journey. Towards the end of March 2020, I decided that I am going to do a two week Chloe Tang program. And as I was starting, I said to myself, why not jump full in and eat healthy as well? So I decided to eat healthy and work out at the same time. And towards the end of November, it's going to be eight months and I haven't looked back. It was hands down one of the best decisions of my life and one of the best decisions that I made in 2020. So if you are struggling with motivation when it comes to working out or staying healthy or being on a fitness journey, or if you are thinking of starting a fitness journey of your own, then this video is for you because I did a lot of research throughout these eight months and I have learned a lot and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. One thing that I can't emphasize enough is to make small goals. When I started, I didn't think that I would stick to two weeks, let alone one month or let alone eight months now. But I promised myself that I am going to do these two weeks, at least these two weeks, and then I will see what comes next so always make small goals because if you think that okay i'm gonna work out for the next one year chances are you might end up not doing that so always make small goals because that actually seem achievable but at the same time they are more acceptable to your brain as well as your body because you are like okay this is just two weeks i can do it so once I did the two week, I was like, okay, let me just do two more weeks. So I did something else for two more weeks and then it continued. But then there came Ramadan. If you don't know what Ramadan is, then Muslims fast from dawn to dusk every single day for 30 days. So it's pretty physically taxing. And I was like, there is no way I would be able to continue working out because it's already hard to fast during the month of Ramadan. But I pushed myself. I tried my level best to work out and I am so proud to tell you that I completed those 30 days as well. So don't let anything beat you down. Make small achievable goals and achieve them. The next thing on my list is commitment. When you make a promise to yourself, make sure that you prioritize it. Because a lot of the times it happens that we make a promise to ourselves and then we forget about it. But when we make promises to other people, chances are that we might be able to fulfill those promises. You should be important to yourself. Make yourself priority. And if you are committing yourself to something, make sure that you are doing it. The next big thing is purpose. Ask yourself, why are you doing these workouts and who you are doing it for? Let me tell you, if someone said something nasty about you or about your body, and if you decided that you are going on a fitness journey or on a weight loss journey, chances are that you might be doing it for other people because someone else said it. It wasn't your call. You were not ready for it. And the chances are you might end up not working out. Do it when you are ready. Or if you have a medical condition and your doctor has asked it too, then make yourself priority because that's important. Number four is calorie deficit. And I think that there is a lot of misconception about this. Everyone knows when you are trying to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. But a lot of the times people end up cutting so much. People end up starving their bodies, which isn't good. Even if you are seeing results now, you are damaging your body from the inside. You shouldn't do that. Please don't cut too much. And please, please don't go on fad diets. Never ever say yes to a fad diet. Fad diet is when you are either asked to cut too much or you are asked to take this tea because it's supposed to lose weight or this supplement which is great for weight loss. I will leave a link to Natasha Ocean's video in the description if you want to check it out because she has explained everything with scientific proof. So you should definitely go ahead and check that out. The next thing is mindset and it's so important. Don't focus on weight loss, focus on strength because that makes a whole lot of difference and I can't stress this enough because it makes so much difference. Initially, I was also focusing on weight loss. I used to get so upset because I wasn't losing weight or I wasn't losing inches and it was really disheartening. But then I forced myself and it took a lot of time. I forced myself to change my mindset from weight loss to strength. Focus on how much strong you feel, how many reps were you able to do or how much longer were you able to survive a workout or how many breaks did you take during a workout. And also don't compare yourself with other people because everyone's body is different and we all work differently. Genetics play a huge role and we all have different genes. So there is no room for comparison. Sometimes I would see 
people's comment on YouTube videos saying that they lost this much in two weeks. And I would always be like, okay, I didn't lose this much. I didn't see any change. Am I doing it right or is it not working for me? But believe me, everything is working for you. You just work differently. Your body just works differently. Next is don't rush in. Take small steps. If you are a beginner in working out, then you shouldn't overtax your body. Don't overexert your muscles. Don't be like, I'm gonna do one hour long cardio sessions three times a week, and then I'm gonna do some strength training the rest of the time with weights. And then I'm also gonna include hit workouts and I'm also gonna include gymnastics for flexibility or whatnot. Give your body some time. It's just overexerting and you won't be seeing any results, honestly. Chances are you might end up getting injured. In my case, I started working out at the end of March. I started with body weight, uh, strength training with Chloe Ting. And then in July, I added 30 minutes of walking. And now after seven months, I have got myself my first set of dumbbells. So it's a slow and a steady pace. It's not a race. Stay calm, take things slowly and do everything nice and slowly. Next important thing is don't go for numbers and don't be anxious of the weighing scale. But understand that weighing machine, weighing a scale is just a part of the process. Understand that it isn't telling you the whole story. It fluctuates so much. I started feeling anxious of the weighing scale quite recently actually. So the thing that I did to overcome that anxiousness was I started standing on the weighing scale every single day. I even did it multiple times a day. So when I saw those fluctuations, because obviously our weight doesn't stay the same, so when I saw those fluctuations, it now has become so normal for me because I now know that it fluctuates and it doesn't stay the same. So it doesn't tell you the full picture of how things are happening inside your body. But always remember when you are working out and you are doing it for over a long period of time, amazing things are happening inside your body. Things are changing even if you are not seeing them. Focus on how you feel because working out makes us so much energetic and it makes us feel so much disciplined that it's amazing. So instead of focusing on the weighing scale and why it isn't budging, focus on these things. And if you struggle with working out every day, then one thing that really helped me was a schedule. Chloe Ting has so many programs on her website. Go take a look. She has full schedules and it really helps because you don't have to do anything. You just have to bring yourself in the room and start working out. Everything is pre-planned for you. Pamela Rife also has got schedules on her Instagram. So go follow her there and follow her schedule. Whatever suits you best. Do whatever you want. But having a schedule really helps and it helped me. I don't have to say this, but eat healthy. Try to fuel your body with good stuff good nutrients as much as possible you can eat anything in moderation be it pizza or burger or whatever is or donuts or whatever but understand that those calories that you're consuming are not going to make you feel full for longer time so try to eat smart and eat healthy over the course of time you actually stop craving things as regularly it might happen that one fine morning you wake up and you are craving a donut that's completely okay go ahead eat a donut but try to eat healthy as much as possible and focus on macros macros are carbohydrates proteins fats and fiber especially focus on these four things and please don't cut off carb from your diet carbohydrate is energy if you are not eating enough carbohydrates then maybe you might feel lethargic and you might end up not working out that's not good right carbs don't make you gain weight it's the overconsumption of things that make you gain weight. And in the end, I would just say that it's a long journey. It takes time. Give it time. Give your body time. And change happen over time. Consistency is the key. Even if you're not seeing results, things are happening in your body. And in the end, it's a lifestyle change. It's not something that you do for two weeks and stop and you're like, okay, I didn't see any results. It's something that happens over time. So that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope that you liked it and I hope that you found it educational or you gained some information out of it. If you want me to make more videos on this topic, comment down below. And if you have any questions, any questions regarding the things that I talked about or regarding anything related to fitness or healthy lifestyle or anything like that, comment down below and I will try to answer all those questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you can also follow me on my socials and I will see you guys in the next video, inshallah. Till then, take care. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.